So what's a unit plan? A unit plan is a scale diagram that shows the arrangement of rooms in a typical one unit of a building. Each room is shown, as are all the walls, doors, windows, stairs, cabinets, appliances, plumbing fixtures and furniture. By analyzing a unit plan, you can get a better idea of what the finished house will look like and check to see if it meets your requirements. Everything we've just talked about has no value if you don't know how to read a unit plan. Here are a few pointers. Do you have a clear idea of where each room is located? Is the placement of rooms according to your requirement? Also, determine the placement of windows and doors and check if they allow enough circulation space. Walls are represented by parallel lines. Breaks in walls generally indicate doors, windows or openings between rooms. Doors are displayed as a thin line. A curved dotted line indicates the direction in which the door is meant to open. While looking at the dimensions of a room, take the size of your bed into consideration. Based on this, figure out where you can place the wardrobes. And finally, check whether there will be enough space for circulation after the bed and wardrobes are installed. Remember that the furniture and fixtures are not to scale in most marketing brochures, etc. When you analyze the kitchen, check the width of the slab, cupboards and most importantly, the circulation space. Check all areas that have dead spaces. These are spaces that can't be used for any purpose due to their position. You should ensure that the number of these is kept to a minimum. You should also look for the dimensions of the walls. External walls usually have a width of 9 to 10 inches, while internal walls vary between 4.5 inches and 6 inches in width. If you're planning any structural changes for the house, you should ask the builder for a structure plan that highlights the placement of beams. In some cases, builders don't entertain any customization. For buyers who believe in Vastu, has that been taken into consideration? When you're studying the unit plan for your home, remember to Analyze the position of your house and the view it offers. For instance, does it open to the main road or to the park? For privacy as well as proper lighting and ventilation, make sure your house shares as few common walls with neighboring units as possible. Watch out for the height of the ceiling. The standard height of ceilings is 2.8 to 3 meters. Check the proximity to building facilities and amenities like the lift, clubhouse and gymnasium. Also, remember that according to the National Building Code, buildings greater than 15 meters high, that is 5 stories, and with an area of more than 500 square meters on each floor should have at least two staircases. And at least one staircase should function as a fire exit. For more details on the area of the property, check out our video on super built-up area, built-up area and carpet area.